One of the ways that you can make passive income as an illustrator or a graphic designer is to sell clip art. Passive income means that you create your product one time and then it can sit and earn money without you having to do anything. For me, clip art is currently a very small source of income, but it's one of my favorites because I can literally draw whatever I want and I don't have to worry about catering to a client's quote unquote vision. I can draw something that I think was just fun to draw and then if someone decides they can use it, that's cool. But if not, it doesn't matter because it was still fun to draw in the first place. So I feel like there's like zero risk involved. But I always set my canvas in Photoshop to 8x8 eight eight inches and 300 dpi. And I'm sure that's overkill, but that's just what I always do. It's just a habit of mine. So for these first steps, I'm just using the basic Photoshop brushes that are provided. I use a soft brush set to like 10 to 30% opacity. And I just get rough sketches in because when I'm going to do the black lines, I want to make sure that I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do so that it's I have to do less guesswork with the black lines because it's a lot more work to fix like proportions and stuff. This clip art set, if it's not already obvious, is kind of like a summer kids. I wanted to draw a little sandcastle and have some kids in some bathing suits and floating around in the pool. With my clip art, I like to draw people a lot, so basically what I'll try to do is make a little set that has a theme and then it's got a few kids that will go with it. I draw a lot of kids because teachers use clip art a lot and they are always looking for kid characters, teen characters, middle age characters. So I think that's one of my favorite things to do. And like I said, I get, I get to draw whatever I want. So I choose to draw little kids and I choose to draw sand castles. Once I'm done with this step, I take the sketches, I copy them to a new layer. When you bring it into Illustrator, you want it to be nice and big so that when we trace it to turn it into a vector file, it's going to like trace well and not get all wonky. This is 8 inches tall, this is pretty big, I'm using a pretty small brush, and I'm just going over with a harder brush, full opacity, I'm just making black and white lines. This step takes quite a bit of time because this is, I think, what's probably the most important step. You want to make sure that your drawing is how you want to have it done. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues later on and you're not going to be able to fix it. Another thing to keep in mind when you're doing this step is that you want all of the lines to be connected because any lines that aren't connected will be an open shape in Illustrator and you won't be able to color it as a solid fill as easily. If you'll notice, I, I'm trying to be careful to make sure that my lines all connect and that I don't have any like loose spots. And sometimes I do, and you'll see later, there's a couple spots that I might have to trace underneath later on. Oh, you'll also notice that I'm really bad at drawing hands and feet, but who isn't really? <laughs> it's like something that nobody knows how to do. And those people that do, they're robots. And then after I'm done with each character, I save them out individually as a JPEG onto my desktop, just someplace where I can just grab it. I don't know a ton of the Photoshop keyboard shortcuts, but I do know some. If you're interested in knowing how I do any of these things or common shortcuts that I use. Maybe I'll do a video about common shortcuts that I use because I only use about five or so. You'll also notice that I cheated and I copied this foot over because I do that a lot to feet because they're so hard and then it's hard to like keep them the same size so I just cheat and copy the layer over.
at this point, I take the image that I had drawn and if there's an option in Illustrator to hit image trace and that will turn it into a vector image, which is basically like now that it's vector, you can make it as big or as small as you want to make it and it's not going to change the quality of the image. So I turn it vector and then I delete the background and first I save it out as just a black and white image because people actually use those a lot. If you're going to make clip art, it's a good idea to make an option to have black and white line art and just include it both. This part is probably the most fun because it's really easy. You're just clicking different portions of it and, and basically just playing around and coloring and it, it's really quick and you see your stuff come to life and turn it into a final product. I was having trouble figuring out what color I wanted to go with this guy because the orange and green was looking a little too much like a carrot. So if you notice, the bottom part is not filled. I had to fill it because I didn't connect it and I did that on purpose because I wanted to have an option to have the sand included in the bottom and the sand not included. Just in case somebody already has a sandy background and they don't want this clear cut line. So once I'm done with all the clip art images, I pull them all back into Photoshop and make a little scene to like give people an idea of what they can do with it I guess. Like most people actually don't do this, but I kind of like to make it a little more fun. That is the completed clip art set. If you have any other questions or want me to go over something, I know this was kind of a generalized video on how I do this. So if you want me to go into more detail about specific steps, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to look into that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next time. Today I wanted to talk about what it means to find your passion or whatever your true calling is as an artist or as an entrepreneur or as a professional individual. 